Oh god, it looks like a penis, doesn't it? <laughs> So, as you can see, we pulled the trans back out of the car, and a big old box of parts showed up. So this should be just about everything we need to get this trans shifter linkage set up sorted, as well as a bunch of other parts that I've been waiting on to get a lot of the fundamental systems of the car, like the brakes, uh, that kind of stuff, plumbed, wired, and ready to go. Have a bunch of other stuff that I'm going to be showing you in the next episode that's going to be awesome because um, we're starting to get into some engine work so it's going to be a good time <clears throat> that said so the challenge for today is going to be creating the mechanism that's going to bolt to the side of the transmission that's going to convert our push-pull cable action into uh, the push-pull as well as this side-to-side um, -side motion on the shifter rod so <sighs> yeah yep Yeah. <laughs> this is the part where you stare at it and try to come up with an idea. Um, first, we'll start with a template. It's like that scene in Super Bowl where he's like, I can't stop drawing dicks. Okay, so now that we got the holes drilled out, now <clears throat> need to get on to the bearing part. And this part <laughs> I'm excited for, because if my measurements are correct, skateboard bearings should fit perfectly with an 8mm mounting hole. Should. So let's find out. Look at that. Look at it. <laughs> it's perfect. Okay, so home stretch. Um, all right, so we've got our plates cut. Um, they're quarter inch. Um, the hole um, that's in here uh, is a little bit larger than 5 16 These are quarter inch plates. Um, that's why I have I have four because we're going to be taking out a good chunk 
of two of them. So I want to have a one plate on either end that's going to uh, reinforce it uh, to keep it strong. Obviously, as time goes on, you know, we'll, we'll you know we'll try some different things and see if we can. You know, obviously, we want to make things as light as possible. So uh, we'll probably do some aluminum stuff. Maybe even do like a 3D scan with some um, CNC work. Who knows? But for right now, um, we have that set. Um, I just have to attach this bracket to that. This is going to go on here. Um, we're going to weld these up so this is all one piece and this will rock back and forth and we just need to drill and tap a hole um, in the end that will accept a quarter inch bolt to attach one of the linkages to. The other linkage will go down here. Um, and then we need to drill the hole through the top here um, to attach the bolt for this. I'm thinking about cutting a relief on the back side of this so that way when we tighten that bolt down on here it actually it also pinches. I, I mean it's quarter inch plate it's probably not going to move much but you know I figure as much torque as we can put on that to keep this as tight as possible that way every every tiny bit of shifter movement translates into action back here we don't have any play so that's the idea behind that so um, yeah because I can't do all this with only two hands <laughs> I gotta run to the store grab some uh, grab some quarter inch bolts um, and yeah we'll uh, we'll keep rolling All right, got our bolts. This is cooled back down so we can handle this. I uh, wound these out just a little bit. I mean, we've got way, we've got a ton of thread that we can work with to get this really adjustable, but at the end of the day, we're not gonna need that much adjustment. So um, I just kind of wound it out. So most of the uh, the rod is inside the tube. Uh, so it should be fine. So now that we have that, now we can start putting this stuff together. All right, so now we got this marked. Now um, I'm gonna cut this. I know that we have this little window where we know the hole needs to be. Um, this would be the back edge of the hole and the front edge of the hole be into this piece. So we have this to work with. I figure now we can take, tack these together um, and then just run a drill down through this and then theoretically through the other side, <laughs> I guess. I don't know. I, I'm just making this up as I go. This and then, boom! Look at that. You know what we need to do? I need to flatten that out. Hold on. Stand back. Now, what I'm going to do is, it looks like we won't need this fourth one. Um, that's awesome. <laughs> the less material, the better, right? So, I'll zip that up, and this is why we tack it first, right? <laughs> so, I'm going to put this right smack dab in the middle. Else ever have like the tightest butthole when you're tapping threads into a blind hole like this? I <laughs> just like just waiting for this tap to break. Our side to side motion linkage. Um, so this transfers this into an up and down motion. Um, but you, you know, it's fine, but the play in this piece is just 
I'm not happy with it. And then this is a, just a straightforward in and out motion, so good to go there. So I I'm gonna try to figure out something to do with this. I think it worked. Dude, son of a bitch, it worked. So now that we got all the play taken out of that shift drive mechanism, now we can start working on adjustments for clearance and just general beautification of the piece because it is horrendously ugly. But then I'll have to wait for next episode because I am out of time today. Thank you so much for watching. Make sure to subscribe if you haven't already. Kung Fu headbutt that thumbs up if you like this video. And remember, on projects like this, sometimes you just need a little ingenuity. I will see you next time.